So has everybody heard the joke about the blonde that sent the text message? The text message said, what does IDK mean? Well, her friend responded, I-D-K. I don't know. The so blonde responded, OMG, nobody knows. <laughs> Come on, you got that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. For all of you who work with middle school students or, like me, have a middle school student in the home, those three words are the most aggravating words on the planet. Your head will explode if you have to hear, I don't know, one more time. Hey, how'd you do on your math test? I don't know. Do you have homework tonight? I don't know. Is tomorrow an A day or a B day? I don't know. Buddy, where are your pants? I don't know. <laughs> if I have to hear, I don't know, one more time to such easy questions, I, I don't know what I'll do. For all of you who work with kids who are 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 years old, you know how hard it is to beat the IDK right out of them. You know, I have a friend who is a history teacher in a middle school. She knows how to beat the IDK out of those kids. We became fast friends in the graduate program that I was in at Weber State University. Uh, she was one of the very first people that I met in my graduate program. And we became fast friends because we were the only two people in the program that worked for school districts. And we were in the same class, a research methods class. And the professor told us, we want you to study a semester long research study. We want you to find something new to discover, unearth something nobody has ever looked at before. So we decided to look at something education related. We talked schools, we talked classrooms, we talked campuses, parent teacher conferences, playgrounds. You know, we found our research topic when she started talking about her homeroom classroom. She was saying, how frustrated she was that they didn't listen to the morning announcements. And then they turned around and had to say, I don't know, when people asked them questions that they probably should have known the answers to. So we asked ourselves, do middle school kids really listen to morning school announcements? But what do they learn? And what do they remember? So let's think about it for a second. Let me uh, break it down to you, as my kids would say. Well, okay, my kid would never say that. He's far too cool for that. In fact, he'd probably be really embarrassed if he knew that I just did that. In fact, I can see him in my mind's eye with a little hand up saying, Dad, just stop. <laughs> Let's stop for a second now and think about the minutes that we are spending every single day on morning school announcements. 10 minutes, it's not a long time to do the pledge, welcome students, get the party started. But if you do that over the course of a regular week, that's 50 minutes, that's one instructional hour. Over a course of a month, that's half a day of school. So far this year, we've spent nine hours of instructional time on morning announcements. So we have to ask ourselves, is this a valuable use of time? If we truly say we value every second with our kids to prepare them to be college and career ready, are we saying, are we spending every minute well? Now, I'm not saying that we should do away with the middle school announcements. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I think they're important. I think they have a purpose, a good purpose. Generally speaking, it's a pretty good way to start the day. Generally speaking, it's a good idea to do the Pledge of Allegiance then. Generally speaking, it's a good time to honor the kids on the honor roll. Generally speaking, it's a good time to tell the kids about the No Tardy Party. Because who doesn't want to know about the No Tardy Party? Everybody wants to know about the No Tardy Party. And generally speaking, it's a good time to tell the kids that that smell in the hallways, well, it's not dangerous, it's just the fish tacos that they're going to be eating at lunch later today. But don't worry about it. Go Chargers, that's what you'd say. <clears throat> so we have to ask our, so our research basically said, we wanna find out more about this. We wanted to see if what we were doing was right. We wanted to ask the question, is this helpful 
to our students. We wanted to ask the question, if we're doing the announcements, is it best for an authority figure to do it? Or is it best for their peers to do it? So this is how we found out. We, we did a survey of a student. We picked a classroom, one of her classrooms, and we designed a, a Likert scale survey. You know those, you have a one on one side, the five on the other side. One strongly agree, one strongly disagree, and you find your opinion somewhere on that line. And we asked them in this survey things like, things that you see up here on the screen. But we also asked them, I typically can hear the morning announcements. We asked them, I generally think that my teacher thinks it's important to listen to the announcements. We asked them, I'd rather have the morning announcements in a podcast. What we also did was we took that class and we split it in half. We had half of the class listen to the announcements given by an authority figure, the principal. And then we had the other half listen to announcements by a peer, a student body officer. And then we asked them questions. We asked them questions about the announcement, such as who gave the announcements? What was on the lunchroom menu? What are events are being held at the school this week? And what students were recognized by name during the morning announcements? You'd be surprised, really, at what we found. We found some really interesting things. We found that the students, by and large, half of the students, they thought they were helpful. They liked the assignment. They liked them. They said they were helpful to them. And overwhelmingly, and not surprisingly, they said that they, uh, wanted to hear from their peeps and not the man when it came to the morning, middle, the morning announcements. So, <clears throat> but here's the catch. Although they said that they wanted to hear from their peers instead of the authority figure, when we tested them for recall, the students who heard the morning middle school announcements from the authority figure they could recall more, but just slightly. Here's what we really found. They didn't listen. They didn't know. Only a few kids in both of the groups told us, yeah, I know when the student elections are. Only a few kids could tell us what they were serving for lunch. And only four kids could tell us when the no tardy party was, and come on, people, you got to want to know when the no tardy party is. <laughs> and one student, bless his fuzzy little heart, he told us that he could remember the announcement about basketball tryouts. Well, the problem was, is the school didn't have a basketball team. <laughs> you know, we were doing the study. We were the adults in the room, and we had a hard time listening. One side was monotonous and dull and kind of disorganized. And the other side was giggly and immature and really disorganized. And I'll let you guess which one was the principal and which one was the student. <laughs> All seemed rushed. All seemed like they just wanted to get it done. Lack of theatrics. Not giving kids real reason to want to listen, to learn with an acknowledgement that that minute in the classroom was one minute away that they could be learning something. So we wonder, what should we do? When we give morning announcements, should we say dude and peeps and all that stuff to try to get their attention? Should we do away with them altogether? And you know, as a communicator, I would say no. I'd say err on the side of giving more information. And if we truly believe that this time is important because we think it's a time when we can build school community, give information to students that they didn't have before, information that we think that they need to know about the world around them, 
then we need to focus on the type of messages that we're sending, focusing on the delivery, focusing on making sure that we're making good on every minute that we have with them. And I see a lot of schools in our district doing a lot of fun things with the morning announcements because I think they see the importance of those morning announcements. And I think they see that every minute counts. Every minute. I see that some students are filming newscasts. I see Hillcrest High School just recently put it on their YouTube channel and put it on Facebook. So social media is pushing out the messages about their school. Now, I'll be honest, this study was, was not perfect. It was my first time doing a research study. It was fun and I learned a lot. I'd like a bigger sample. It was just one class. I'd like more time to do it. I would like to have more control over what the people were saying during the announcements. And I'll admit it, I screwed up the survey. Typically with the Likert scale, we would, the research would ask the respondents to rank their interest on a one to five scale, five being strongly agree, one being strongly disagree. When I constructed the survey, I flipped it. And when my professor looked at that, she said, you know, I lectured all about this and how to build this survey. Why did you do it this way? And the only thing I could say was, I don't know. <laughs> well, to me, the interesting part of this, the most interesting part was throughout the entire research process, I didn't find one single article in a journal, either for educators or for communicators that said why we spend time in the morning giving announcements and if what we're doing in school really does work. I didn't find one. We, we literally said this was the first study that we could find. And yet, if you think about it, there isn't a school around that doesn't do it. We study the minutia of a classroom. We study everything that we're doing every single day to make sure that what we're doing will make sure that our students are college and career ready, that we'll teach them something. So I ask, how can we do this better? If we're putting an emphasis on it and we're doing it, why not pay attention to make it better? Should we say dudes? Should we say peeps? Should we put it on a high-tech platform? Should we create a district-wide system of morning school announcements? I don't know. But here's what I do know. I've been with this district for five years, and we've faced a lot of problems. And there wasn't a problem that we haven't been able to solve. There hasn't been a challenge that we haven't beat the IDK out of. So now we know that there's an issue. And I'll submit that in a short time, we'll find a solution. And we'll have district-wide middle school kids raising up their hands. Okay, I know, just stop. And that's when we'll know, they know. Thank you.